Oh, right, Belgian Junior starts. So yeah, <clears throat> let's see how many he gets up to. Um, he gets a six. So I wonder what I think he's going for a mini game again, which I'm sure he do. He is. So yeah. Hopefully I can manage to get myself some extra mini stars from here, specifically six uh, mini stars from here, so in that way, I can win this effortlessly. Sketchbook Scramble, aka, um, Color Me Fast in the USA version. Color in the pieces of fruit in the sketchbook. The first color in, um, three pages wins. So I have to use the stylus once again, and I'm gonna have to focusing on the bottom screen mostly because I'm usually in the top screen. Well, then all you see is just the players how many points they do have. So yeah, there are two, uh, there are three, or oh, actually five different types of fruits you can ever color. Like I think the biggest one ever it was easily melon because usually um, you're gonna have to color on the melon a lot because um, in the other fruits um, you're gonna have to mostly um, you have to color in. This will have to be um, banana, and um, and um, lastly, um, I believe it's apples. I believe, although apples doesn't exist in the on the sketchbook scramble. I, d I don't know, but yeah, that was calling me first or um, scramble book um, or s like scramble book um, or sketchbook scramble. Scr sketch sketchbook scramble. That's the name of this mini game. So. <clears throat> Days is going next, and I'm ironically I'm in the actually in the lead right now, and um, all I need to worry about is just um, keep an eye on these mini stars. <clears throat> Although it's not going to worry me that much because um, both um, two mini Z stars are nothing home or right to home about for me. But um, the only thing I really need to be trouble with is um, the five mini Z star ones. Three. All right, guess I'll take that one. I'll take that as a number, this, this number. Uh, might as well go up there, just for a safe. <clears throat> so, Mario, uh, Mario's going next. Oh yeah, um, I, I didn't mention that in the, in the last episode, is the fact that the opponents I did pick up, uh, actually I did pick, um, player one, I'm using Yoshi for this board, because I'm usually, um, if you remember where um, Yoshi's New Island is going to come out in UK as well as USA, I'm actually going to be picking Yoshi for this board, simply for I just wanted to. Just for the sake of it, because I love Yoshi. Okay, go with a flu. Grab baby penguins and race across the slippery ice floes to return them to their mother. So yes, um, this minigame involves around um, collecting penguins, very similar to the likes of the um, Super Mario 64 mission in um, I Lost My Penguin, and um, also Chimp Chase in uh, Mario Party 5, but unlike that, um, however, um, it's just on this slippery surface, you're gonna have to come across though. Uh, anybody, get out of my way! Okay, good. But however, if you ever fall off temporarily, well then you're gonna have to do the entire section all over again, so that could be no good. Especially, oh, whoa, that was close, look at that, I'll take that, I'll definitely take that. Yeah, you, if you want to be an expert skills, well then you can basically um, go go diagonal thin um, platforms right there, but um, I actually don't mind this minigame that much, in fact, this is probably the easiest mini game or essentially the quickest mini game I believe and um yeah wow the opponents do suck in there whenever when they're trying to get themselves a third or second point or oh, I don't know for some sort of but again I could just wish I can um, set up into hard mode but um I'll save that for later I suppose and Daisy won on third place so that means Belgian Junior gets nothing and the opponents I'm going to be using for this board also is uh, Mario, because of you guys never seen Mario in um, the previous two boards. And um, Daisy makes a return and ever sends Perilous Palace Path. And um, lastly, the returning of Belgian Junior ever sends Bonsai Bill's Mad Mountain. So yeah. So I believe Belgian Junior gets a 10 mini stars, although yeah, I think he is. He's on the goal already. So, only remains is, it's just Mario, y me, and um, Daisy. Belgian Junior is the only one made it to the goal. Wow. I actually never heard of that, to be honest with you, even though some people do count it that, but um, for me, 
Actually, yeah, they did it first time ever going to let um, Bells with uh, one player reach just the goal first. So that is kind of weird, actually, for me, because I'm um, usually, um, usually, you know, we're almost, uh, we're not all the way almost there to the goal, though. But, um, yeah. Alright, so, scramble space, where's Daisy's gonna put in? She's gonna put in ten, oh, actually two mini stars, and, um... Yeah. Alright, um, four. Um, okay, I'll take that as a, um, as for that, so... At least it doesn't affect the space on it that way, so, oh well, no big deal for me, so, yeah. Man, I wish if Mario can land on that first space, because if he ever lands on the first space, um, that will be um, a huge bonus for me if I ever win this mini games at this point. But however, when someone reaches the goal though, um, they don't actually have a, another go because they're simply trying to, um, well, just um, stay there and um, won't do anything of some sort. I'll just let Daisy can have those mini stars just for a heck of it because she was in fourth right now. So even though she's got 15 or not, so um yeah. So yeah, technically we're almost done with the um, all the boards in this game. Even though, as I said in the beginning of this let's play, I'm probably not going to be covering. Ah, oh, shoot! Why? Why these stupid ones? Oh Jesus! Oh, oh well. Um. I'm guessing I'll have to place um Bony Beetle right there, as well as the Bony Goomba right there. You see, if you ever if you remember those enemies from um, ever since both New Super Mario Bros. 2 and New Super Mario Bros. U, even though like um like the ones in Mario Party 9, like um for those enemy placements, it takes place in um whatever when um New Super Mario Bros. Wii came out in 2005, like the um mo uh, these environments most heavily heavily. Heavenly Borrows from New Super Mario was Wii, but um, and I believe in here, although there are some para beetles and the ones in um, or para buds from um, um, Super Mario 3D Land and World, even though um, Super Mario 3D World came out after this game, I believe, and um, usually um, even though the United States version of this game right here as well as Super Mario 3D World came out on the exact same day on the USA version. Oh, this is actually probably one of my favorite mini games in the entire game. We're going to be playing Koopa Coliseum, aka Tank a lot, in the USA translation. Destroy your opponent's tanks before they can destroy yours. Score three hits to win. And you simply just um, use the circle pad to move your tank, and then you shoot the A button to um shoot the cannon. This minigame is very similar to the likes of the, uh, the Shell Shock minigame from Mario Party 2 and uh, also Cannonball Fun in uh, Mario Party 6. Like the similar concepts, like you're shooting those opponents at the. Um, you're shooting those opponents and um, you basically earn points. But however, um, just um, like you remember in Mario Party 2 Shell Shock, um, you only have two, um, two amount of health. But if your two health is down, well then you will um, out of the mini game. But in uh, Mario Party 6, which is kind of more fun, the basically um, the main premise of that mini game, um, if someone gets, I believe it was five points. Yeah, it was five points. If anyone gets to five points, wins. And then in here, you actually have to win about three points, which actually I have to point out, I actually kind of like that mini game, which um, kind of surprised me actually. And um, yeah. And I've got a six, so oh well. Alright, so take my mini set stars. Oh Jesus. Even though I'm still winning though, I was about two off with Bowser Jr. though again, so yeah. So the only remains left is Mario, the main um, character in the game, even though particularly in the main Mario series. So to speak for uh, Mario though, um, only a year left until when, um, I believe in the uh, Mario 30th anniversary of, um, a coming over what game does in my super, um, super, um, event is going to be happening, and, uh, what game does in my made on, um, the 30th anniversary of Super Mario Brothers, I believe, but we'll have to find out until next year, so, yeah. 
So Mario gets a... Oh, another six. So I believe he's going for the minigame as well. Which I'm sure enough, he is. So yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so once again, I'm going to be going for six mini stars. So hopefully I can win that. In... Slide and Solve, aka title, um, survey in the USA translation. Again, I cannot pronounce that, um, sharply, um, name very well, but anyways. Slide the tiles to in unscrabble three pictures before your opponents can. So once again, I'm going to be focusing on the bottom screen. Because like the ones in, um, s um sketchbook, um, scramble, it shows, um, the characters, um, some score, so yeah. In fact, this is the only mini game that it did show in the um, the uh, Nintendo Direct in back in April in um, that month. Which I'm actually kind of um, think that um, this mini game's concept, I think to me, is very similar to the likes of the um, uh, Mario Party 9's um, Jigsaw Jumble, I believe. Because usually, if you ever finish this mini game, you actually get like it says like a bronze, silver, or bronze, silver, or gold um, frame back into it. But um, yeah. I actually really like that mini game. It's kind of hard to text, test your reflections right there, and uh, basically that's how the simple premise of this mini game right here. So yeah. Oh great! Looks like Bowser Jr. is almost going to win though. Unfortunately though, so this could be a bad thing. Alrighty then. Um, let's see how many days he's going to get. A two. So, front line goes back, goes to the back, so Goom, uh, Para Goomba is going to be on, um, in front of the line right now, and, um, yeah. So it's my turn now, so how many I need to get? I'd say about six or five, if I ever, ah, uh, four, I'll take that as a four. Um, to be honest guys, I'm actually not going to go for that space right there, because, um, if I ever do, well then, basically, I might as well get myself screwed over right there, so, I think that's, that's the best way in order to do that for that, for me, though, anyway. Alright, so, Mario's head up to the goal, so, um, he managed to get himself five mini stars, so, that's pretty good for him. So, only remains this is uh, Mini Z stars from um, 7 and um, 7 for Mini stars. So, I wonder who might get to get those or something like that. So, so since Mario's in the goal, so he won't be able to get his um, another go now. So, yeah. And too bad for you, Daisy. It looks like you um, actually lost your Mini Sets, uh, Mini stars, unfortunately for you. So, oh well. Oh, looks like I'm the only one gets a seven mini stars. Uh, I believe my mini star count will actually go up to um, f excuse me, 49. So I think I might win this. Yay, like it do. You can carry me into the um, last star stage. And that's about it for Star Cross um, Skyway. Is all there is. It's just um few alternate pathways you can ever take through. As well as some bunch of different spaces you're actually going to land on. And then when um, all the opponents made it to the goal line, uh, they're actually um, going to show, show the results of how much um, mini stars you had. And um, right here, right now, I actually got 49. So that was about 11 mini stars off. So that actually kind of surprises me. Hooray, Yoshi won! Because that was kind of surprising, actually, because, you know, Yoshi's new item is going to come out soon enough. So I'm actually looking forward to that title. So, <clears throat> let's have a look at the detail results right here. Graph wise, this grid reach up to rising right above. And, um, wow, many opponents seem to land on any single um, um, three times of the versus spaces except me, because I only land on that once. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, and um, board wise, it tells you what, how many mini stars or mini set stars have you received, and um, one. Uh, how many times you've been moved by the lack of two, and yet again, most likely two other boards, minigames.
So since I'm in first place on that board, I can get yet again 2,000 points. So yeah, I had a really good time on this board actually because I have a lot of fun with minigames so far. So next time on Let's Play Mario Party Island Tour, we're going to be hit up to one of the shortest boards in the game, which are about three of them, although except for that one because, well, as you probably tell, only three players allowed or especially four um, human players involved. So um, next time on Let's Play Mario Party Island Tour, we're going to be hit up to Rocket Road. Um, skill is not enough, on, uh, much like Bonsai Bill's Mad Mountain, it falls really damn, um, heavily on luck. And, um, much like Bonsai Bill's, I'll actually, huh, let's check on the, um, Bonsai Bill's Mad Mountain again. Oh yeah, it's the same status as the, um, Bonsai Bill's. You do get quite a few minigames here, and the playtime on that one is, um, 10 minutes to 20 minutes, so that could be really short. Oh yeah, I did not mention that time on, um, Sky Cross, um, Skyway in the beginning. Uh, it takes you about 30 to 15, uh, 30 to 15 minutes, so that could be pretty, a little bit longer ever since the first one. So, see you guys then. Later, folks.